Kazakh national handcrafts make up the precious roots of steppe culture. They provide an inside look into nomadic lives. The art of the nation who once lived upon the Great Steppe is pictured here through wood and iron processing, jewelry and felting. Many programs modernize the culture of hunting, falconry, horse training and racing. Take a look inside the Kazakh culture on the program Kazart. The theme of pictorial art is wide-ranging. One area is still life. Every artist in Kazakh art expresses the still life genre in their own way. Artists have always depicted this genre of art in their own way. For example, Abram Cherasky used it in his compositions of lilacs and tulips. We can also notice from Aisha Galimbayeva's works a traditional view of yurt's interiors. Galimbayeva painted traditional food and dishes and decorative views of the meal table inside of yurts. The main part of pictorial art is the color. A person is able to express his mood and emotions through color. The color can be symbolic. If we will turn color to the symbolic, we will be able to express more emotion. The color can have its own harmony. For example, when you look at any composition, you can find their sense of harmony. Owing to colors in pictorial art, this genre has developed throughout history. It's one of the main historical genres. Pictorial art is a major part of art. This pictorial art is singular with its own depictions, space, light and special knowledge. The main thing it describes and evokes is the truth and essence of art for people. There are several main genres of pictorial art. They are historical, domestic, the theme of war, animals, portraits, still life, seascapes and landscapes. Pictorial art can be divided into diverse areas and can be described as monumental or decorative. There can be paintings and drawings on the inside of walls or outside of a building. If monumental pictorial art has been depicted in the outside yards or inside buildings, a pictorial work will be done in the workshop. Pictorial art was especially popular in the 13th and 16th centuries, and artists have always created in this interesting genre. An artist paints on a canvas set on an easel, and a great artistic composition can be created from one line. Here there can be many colors as well. According to the colors, the painting will achieve its own purpose. Paintings are made from tempera colors. Tempera was used often by artists in ancient times. An egg yolk was added to different colors and mixed together and then painted. Pictorial art can be colored or just drawings. Here, they will be used watercolor, gouache, pastel ink, or other mediums for this art. A pastel painting is a pen picture finished with oil paint. In ancient times, painters used the hot water pastel colors technique. As we know, a pastel painting is similar to an oil painting. Another type of painting is watercolor. Watercolor painting is divided into two parts in art, painting with thick paint or using the watercolor with clean water and paint. A very significant medium of art is oil painting. 
Compositions created many, many centuries ago are still with us today. We mentioned before that through this medium, art developed different genres in painting. Among them, a historical genre, which was developed in Europe in the 15th and 16th centuries. But a popular period was the 19th and 20th centuries, in a time of Russian mobile artists. In 1754, one of the world's first Academy of Arts was organized in the Russian Empire, which developed academic painting and classicism. And the outstanding example of this trend is the Blessing composition by Che Bueva. First of all, the classical style was characterized by having historical, mythological or biblical subjects. What we see in this picture is how Isaac blesses his son Jacob. Here you can see a clear composition that forms a distinct triangular shape. One figure does not overshadow the other. Classicism was always characterized with blue, red and yellow colors. All the colors are carefully selected. It's a typical picture of the classicism era. With a classicism picture, first of all, you need method, technique and equipment. As a prospect, light and shape, we have to mention about the composition as well. You should use a large space when you draw. The main prospect is a plain one, and then draw a line. A line prospect was successfully used by the Russian artist Shishkin and our artist Ken Baev, who also used it in the same way. An air prospect was widely used by the French artist. An artist used in pictorial art light and color. The light will be shown and it will be another type of color within the painting. We can see here the professionalism of the artist. One method in drawing an image is depiction. Each artist will draw in his own way, not just the composition, but another one as well. People's, or even another artist's opinion, will have an influence here. For example, a motherland theme is popular among our artists. In 1950, Kanapir Teljanov followed a significant way in a realistic type of drawing. He did a composition called Motherland in a very realistic way. It is extensive and understandable. He did a shepherd riding a horse who looked at the lacerated ground. And in 1980, another artist who created the homeland theme in a surrealistic way was Begsait Tolkiev. His homeland composition is a significant one. Each composition done by him has their own symbolic images regarding the homeland theme. Each artist might use the theme in their picture from their own time of life. Before drawing a composition, an artist will write down his idea and use the appropriate format. For example, through the diametrical format, an artist expresses warm feeling, happiness, while the straight, open format can express a meaning of tragedy. The meaning of the composition is important when the artist draws the picture. 
Through the composition, the artist will show his thoughts to his viewers. Pictorial compositions use light very successfully, and the composition is very significant as well. They show shapes, size, depth, distance. Everything will be given light and shadow here. Among the important factors are reflexes, half shadows or contrasts, and constant half shadows which have taken a main role in the course of the composition. In the 1950s, the artist Janatai Jardinov was noticed for his magnificent style of art. He painted still life art in his own unique way. For example, colorful and varied flowers in a jar, which he painted, was an outstanding example of the still life genre. The animals genre is widely used by Dutch and Chinese artists. A Kazakh artist, one composition is Kanapia Tiljanov's Kokpa, which was depicted in this genre. We can say it is an excellent example. Here, there is an image of a horse. Before drawing the picture, the artist found a successful anatomical solution. If you have a look, you can notice the voice of the horse as it runs. Through this composition, the artist shows Kazakh people are very close to this animal. Everyday life is very significant and used constantly in the pictorial art genre. There, it describes the everyday life of people. For example, Zenigul Tsipova painted a composition for village life entitled Bal Sakta, or Amandos Ikonayev portrayed city life in his composition Vanity. These are good examples of this genre. A composition created by an artist shows a moment of that time, that period's environment. Then we will feel everything from the composition as they speak in silence when the viewers of the artist move. We will then feel everything from the composition as they speak in silence with the viewers of their picture. One of the most beloved paintings of visitors to our museum is a painting by Arthur Ricci. It's called On the Chessboard. Here you see a wonderful example of Neo Rococo. This painting was done in the 19th century. The style Neo Rococo is a continuation of the Baroque style. It is characterized by a lush decorativeness. But unlike the monumental Baroque, Rococo is a chamber genre, more intimately singing some private chamber pastimes, evoking chamber feelings. You see, there is even a stunning box next to the picture. It is also made in the style of Rococo. Pastoral scenes, they show us the charm of such pastoral scenes. As you can see, the pastel shades prevail in this style of Rococo. Here is a pink color, and there, other pastel shades. Such an easy game, free flirtation, spiritual. All of these are typical of the Rococo style. Subsequently, pictorial art is not only describing social development, but also providing truths which are seen and felt by the viewers of the pictures. People can make judgments from these compositions. That's why pictorial art is very important in the social environment, as it also gives us such important information about the past. <laughs>